Hey, Redcon Trader here, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k, Rogue Trader. As today, we get the helm out of Dodge. Things are getting a little warped on this ship, so best to keep moving. I figure we're maybe uh, one more episode out from wrapping the prologue. Kind of figured that door would unlock now, but uh, I guess we go back this way. The Navigator's Sanctum is directly along the passageway. Oh, I pray to the God Emperor that we are not too late. Uh, thanks, Abelard. A little late on that, but um, I do appreciate your input. Oh, uh, as an aside, I have updated to the full launch build. And uh, I unlocked the pre-order stuff, so... I did pick a different ship. warrior turns to face you, her dark eyes blazing. The weapon quivers in her hands, and for a brief moment, it seems she is not going to stop, and will instead continue eliminating every target she sees, starting with you. Sister Argenta! Sister Argenta, it is a relief to see you. We require all the forces we can muster. The Seneschal's voice seems to bring the warrior out of her battle trance. Your face. It is unfamiliar. Who are you? The young woman called Argenta lowers her weapon and scans her small party with an intense gaze. Then she sets her sights on you. Ladies first. How do I know you're not working with Void Bear? Allow me. Sister Argenta, sacred warrior of the Adeptus Auroritas. Sister, this is Master Von Valencius, a member of the Rogue Trader's House. The hour is dark and daunting. The ship abounds with corruption. The faces of friends who are twisted by sneers of heresy. The eyes of comrades ignite with the archenemy's hunger. I will do what I must to halt the advance of the Dark Forces. But in these dire moments, little can be trusted. So I must know, why are you here? Argenta gives you another stern appraisal. You catch something strange in the dark depths of her eyes. Some internal struggle or a wordless question. In the end, however, she nods. Sister, I beg of you. Now is not the time for interrogations. The ship is under attack by heretics. We've been betrayed by our esteemed Master of Whispers. Edelthrad the heir is waiting for our aid, and Lord Captain Theodora is expecting a report on our success. We are here to deal with the situation, so I suggest we all do just that. Abelard appears to be losing his patience. Abby's right. We don't have time for this. There's too much at stake. We've got lives on the line. Very well. We may leave it at that, for now. Argenta raises her chin proudly. I cannot wait to rain righteous fire down upon each and every heretic.
Yeah, about that. What's a sister of battle doing on a rogue trader ship, anyway? Not your usual stomping grounds. Sister Argenta is a guest of the Lord Captain. And that story deserves its own time and conversation. Under more appropriate circumstances. Abelard shoots her a quick glance. Enough idle chatter. I am where I must be, and that will suffice. How about these guys? They with you? Overseer of Middle Deck AL-84, my lord. We were rounding up everyone we could find in the attack compartments when we ran into an ambush. Just about every enforcer fell. These are the survivors. I love that they gave a voice to the most important character in the game. Overseer of Middle Deck AL-84, or AL for short. What's happening up here? Status report. Massacre, my lord. And heretics are not just killing the crew. Some kind of blight is sweeping through the decks, filling the air. I saw people going mad the moment they breathed it in, screaming about their dead comrades, tearing out their eyes. I implore you, my lord, be on your guard. So, just your average Thursday in the Underhive. All right, we need to get to the main hall. Through this door, I shall join you, for it is my duty to the God Emperor to destroy this heresy. Argenta nods at the passage to your right. We will follow. For now, we will hold off any heretics who might try to crawl in through the cracks to join the main assault. And we'll take a look at the generators while we're at it. Those villains made a mess of the cables. Oh, I wish we had a Tector map with us, but we'll see what we can do without one. Thanks, Al. Good to hear it. Sister? Ready. May Terra's light illuminate our path through fire and darkness. And welcome aboard, Argenta. Let's get a gander. Unfading Valor. Unique Bolter. This Godwin pattern bolter was given to Sister Argenta on the day she took her vows to join the Order of the Martyred Lady. Unfortunately, despite its illustrious name, the gleam of its metal has dulled after years of travel and encounters with horrors untold. And the sacred prayers engraved on the barrel have been worn smooth in places. With every shot it fires, another spark goes out in the halo of sanctity that surrounds this noble weapon. Right. Which is basically GM speak for this being a uniquely inferior version of a bolt gun. Thanks for that, but but yeah, I guess handing us a full-fledged bolt gun right off the bat would be a bit much. Alright, let's uh, clear the hall real quick. Make sure we're not missing any loot. I always have a backup plan. The generators hum softly. When you draw closer, your skin begins to tingle from static discharges. Hey, Warren. The door is closed, but the lock looks intact. It can probably be opened with the right tool. Ah, melt bombs right? We must have a stash here somewhere. Ooh, look at that. They updated the launch build to give actual unique illustrations for cargo items. That is fantastic. And a sniper rifle upgrade. Yes, please. Not a huge step up, but yeah, plus one to max damage. We'll take it. The explosion blasted a hole through the door, large enough for a person to get through. Is that so? 
And yet I, a person, cannot get through it. Oh, yes. That makes it so much more satisfying to pick up generic vendor trash. The only thing they're missing now is, like, little lore blurbs just to, uh, just to further expand the player's knowledge of the setting. I do love me some lore. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only lore. The door will not move an inch. It is blocked. Keep your okay, so I you. guess we go back over here? Yes, I guess so. Second time's the charm, I guess. Gentlemen. Nadira, light him up. Was... was that you? Or... <laughs> what an unfortunate turn of fate. Nice, 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 nice. And we haven't even started stacking all of the crazy psychic talents on her just yet. Oh, and she's up again. Okay, let's um, buff up Abby. Then we'll whittle the left flank. Hey guys, you sure you want in on this? Ow. Bless Ow. Yes, I know how guns work. Thank you. She's pinned. Can't use the bolter at this range. But that's why we gave her a sword. Blade to rest. Though ultimately we want to get her a shoddy or a flamer. And I am not liking that approach. Stay put, Argenta. I think we've got this. Front loading with double Adira definitely weighted this fight in our favor. Clear the rear. No, Valen, you had one job. Okay, let's clear this guy. Oh, uh, well, shoot, that does put a bit of a crimp in my plan. We'll just table this for now. <laughs> yeah, they're starting to entrench on the back. I don't like that. need to push up on those guys, but this thing in the middle doesn't seem to count as cover. Nice. 
Ashes for the weak. Oh, we don't have precise shot yet. That makes this tricky. Who if not me? Hey, all right. Yeah, once we uh, once we get all the right talents and abilities on Valen, he'll be rocking a 90 plus chance to hit pretty much anyone on the field. We're just still in the setup phase for a lot of this stuff, laying foundations before we can before we can really build it all up. We'll do. Don't have second sight yet, right? Guided by faith. will do. And we're pretty much done. Boink. Sniper rifle's got a really narrow spread. So it's actually pretty safe to fire into combat with it, as long as you're perpendicular. Nothing notable on loot. Lots of cargo. Let's go ahead and shuffle that over now. Hmm. A little twitchy. Seemed slightly resistant to letting me move everything over. Always keep your eye on the price. No big deal. I'll uh, I'll just stick to sorting cargo between episodes. Got our first machine right set. That's for logic checks. Ooh, that is that is so satisfying. I cannot I cannot overstate how much I love this. to be made an exact replica of the von valantius void ship sits on the pedestal labels indicate the main compartments and decks of the vessel titles and authors are printed in gold on the spines of the books the library contains works on imperium theology law codices biographical sketches and chronicles of the greatest military conflicts of the Coronis Expanse and the Calixis Sector. Calixis Sector, that's where we're from. I always keep my options open. The cozy seating area is completely destroyed. Pieces of furniture and splinters are scattered everywhere, and dark stains cover the floor and upholstery. Delicious cargo. Oh, uh... Huh, look at that! That's new. Apparently... Yeah, yeah, apparently uh, sorting those other items into cargo now makes it automatically sort 
all items of that type into cargo. That's pretty cool. That must be why it was struggling when I was uh, trying to just shuffle everything over manually. Yeah, still uh, still getting used to all this launch build stuff. They uh, they changed a lot between early access and launch. Though I will say, one thing I'm sad about is that they pulled assisted analysis. That was pretty much a must-have for all of our operatives. Which is probably why they pulled it. It was... Uh, it was a little too good. Oh ho! Logic, you say? Time to put that computer brain to good use. I'm a genius! And what be our prize? Oh, fantastic. It just feels so much more tangible now. So much more satisfying than just a bunch of generic white boxes. Operator's gloves. Plus three on tech. Uh, which I guess will go to... Valen. Yeah, we got a party full of dum-dums. Valen's gonna have to pick up the slack until we track down our tech priest. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. I'm a genius! Nice, nice, nice. And yes. Oh, shotgun. Thank you. Uh, that will actually go to Valen. We'll need another one for Argenta. Shotty's integral for those times Valen gets pinned down in melee. Oh, and now that they uh, actually display the parry modifier, uh, I can confirm. Doubling up on swords does not double your parry bonus. They also shuffled Adira's first skill drop into warp. That's nice. Used to be Medicae. I always have a backup plan. But she is just much more useful as our warp specialist. Level up. Let us know, Dordal. What do we got? Ah, yes. More foundation stuff. Basic class abilities. Expose weakness for Valen and Adira. Endure for Abelard. Very important for our dedicated tank. And Revel in Slaughter for Argenta. Sure, why not? Ideally, most fights will be over by the time that actually procs, but uh, nice to have on tap, I suppose. And yes, just double checking to make sure. That is a welcome change. All right, let us proceed. Is there money to be made? That's where we're supposed to go, so let's check over here first. A fallen stell has blocked the path to the left. You'll have to look for another way to Edelthrad. Keep your wits about you. A 
That's a nice little armor bump. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. We'll toss that to Abby. Have a backup we have to plan. get to the other side for that one. We should deal with this. The benches and even the cogitator, torn from its proper place, are stacked in a rough semblance of a barricade. Combat logs broken again. I was really hoping they'd fix that. Oh, there we go. And on to the precarious bridge. Yeah, that that's always a good sign. But we literally have no choice, so What is this? Did they shoot us with something? I can't... I can't see a thing! The roar of flames rings in your ears, and the choking smoke makes you cough and gasp for air. You instinctively recoil from the scorching heat, wiping your face. A moment later, a hazy silhouette forms in the raging wall of fire. You are surrounded by ear-splitting noise and screaming, yet you distinctly hear the sound of footsteps. And then you see the figure walk out of the fire towards you. It is Theodora von Valancius. Her expression is calm, terrifyingly so for someone whose body is engulfed in an inferno. One of her hands is resting on the hilt of her power sword. The other is raised in an inviting gesture. Are you lost, my heir? Argenta goes as still as a statue then slowly raises her weapon. An apparition! A sorcerous apparition! Trickery of the warp! Sister, you will lower your weapon! Despite his commanding tone, Abelard does not sound too confident. He is staring at the rogue trader, and you notice a muscle in his cheek twitching. Threatening the Lord Captain is outrageous! Theodora, what are you doing here? I am a rogue traitor, Fallon. I am wherever my will demands me to be. Would you prefer to be elsewhere at this time? Indubitably. But are you ready? Theodora watches you without blinking. Her snake-like gaze almost makes you forget about the fire searing you, leaving burns on your skin. I can lead you out of these flames, Valen, show you a path, rid you of pain, and give you a weapon so that you may defeat your enemies. Decide. Your mouth begins to salivate. Each word Theodora speaks is like music to your ears. The entity that now dwells in the deepest recesses of your mind is pleading, begging, demanding that you give her an immediate answer. And that answer can be nothing other than acceptance. Do not listen to this abomination. Fallon, if you... If there is not but his light in your heart, if you are resolute in your faith, then step into the flames. The Emperor protects. His faithful will not be deterred by either darkness or deceitful promises. Nor will the fire burn those who carry the torch of faith in their souls. To the void with you. We need to follow Lady Theodora before we suffocate in this furnace. The people. Abelard looks back at the coughing and confused people around you. Valen, the survivors from the middle decks. We must help the crew. Lead them out. Find a way around. Over the roaring flames you hear distant sounds. 
frightened voices, screams, muffled and distorted, as if there were a body of water between you and them. Then we'll miss our chance to meet up with Ed... <coughs> Adira breaks off and starts coughing violently. Her knees buckle and she looks like she's about to fall. Valen, what are we waiting for? And here's our first moral conundrum. Though not so much moral as it is a matter of conviction. And I mean, honestly, I think we've laid this out pretty well. We are, of course, going to put our crew first. Though in cases where lives of innocents are not explicitly on the line, then we will, we will seriously consider both dogmatic and heretical options. Valen still pays lip service to the Emperor, even if he does have doubts about his mortal servants, and uh, despite, despite his run-in with the Inquisition, he's still somewhat chaos-curious, at least until he thoroughly learns his lesson. You know that's going to explode in his face at some point. That's it. We're obviously still just laying foundations right now, so we got to start with Iconoclast. Plus, we're obviously not just going to leave Al here to die. He's my favorite character. Fall back, people! Off the bridge! We'll find another way around! You look away, and the illusion breaks. The unbearable heat instantly makes your skin burn, and the voices of the people beyond the Shroud of Smoke grow stronger and hopeful once you and your companions rush back, barking orders and guiding the survivors. In your determination, you completely forget about Theodora, and when you turn your head, you see nothing but the bellowing fire. Uh, also, Theodora, she's she's right there. There she goes. Back! Fall back! We'll go around! Where did she... it... go? The thing that was standing in front of us in the fire? I could have sworn to the same place all unholy visions go. Do you want to follow it, witch? Why are you guys talking now? Why didn't you? I always I mean, keep my options okay, fine. Open. Um, that's really throwing me how inconsistently they've uh, voice acted things. I just want more voice acting in general. I think they did a great job with it. A massive podium rises above the gap in the main temple. A bold architectural decision that could turn into a disaster with a well-placed shot. Come on, people. Time to take a stand. Well, that certainly worked out. Too late! We are too late! Or perhaps Edelthrad and his escort never made it here. Which would be even worse. Abelard throws up his hands in despair. Or they could be fighting on the bridge as we speak. Without us. Argenta grips her weapon. My lord. I beg your pardon for interrupting. The people are asking for orders. You came back to save us. So now we will follow you through thick and thin. The officer quickly bows. Oh, Al, you know I couldn't quit you. I'll never give you up, I'll never let you down, and I will certainly never desert you. To the bridge. If Edelthrad is there, then he requires immediate assistance. I say there is one thing that I find most troubling. The Lord Captain's Vox casts. They are still coming in, even though it would make sense for Lady Theodora to be on the bridge right now, at the head of the counter-assault. I feel uneasy. What if the Lord Captain is besieged in her own chambers? With your permission, I suggest that we confirm for ourselves that she is not. We can use the same elevator that Lady Theodora and Mort headed for earlier. Quest failed. 
Boo! The game was rigged from the start. But you have placated me with more cargo. Let us be on our way. Always keep your eye on the price. So we are headed for the elevator right over here. No. That's the one we took down with Conrad. Keep your wits about you. So this is the one we're looking for. Can we go further this way? Past the bridge? We cannot. Fair enough. Let's check on Theodora. I'm sure she's fine. Thank you, Abelard. I'll be right with you. <laughs> what do we have here? This clearly does not serve as a stateroom. The generators, machines, and crude wall paneling indicate that it is a maintenance module room rather than an area for receiving guests. Lex Mechanics Goggles, plus three, two logic. Yes, please. Though long term, we'll have much better uses for our goggle slots. Is there money to be made? Plasma conduits blaze with energy, capable of powering a vast void ship. All right, let's check on the Lord Captain. Find Theodora von Valantius. Is she in the bath? You have found an item that can only be equipped by characters of a certain conviction rank. Have I? I don't think that's true. The tutorial is lying to us. No doubt the work of Voigtveer, the duplicitous cur. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Anyway, Theodora's not in the bath. Not in the bedroom. Oh. Well, that is unfortunate. Found her. And is that Mort over there in the corner? Say it ain't so, Mort. How could you, of all people, have possibly checked out this early? After all the trouble they went through to give you a voice and a custom portrait and a last name. There's our conviction item, by the way. Tutorial was just slightly premature. Grants immunity to critical hits for the first three rounds of combat. The parlor organ seems to have been sitting idle for many years. Lord Captain. Theodora von Valantius's body is sprawled on the large, blood-drenched desk. The Archmilitant's corpse, still clutching a weapon, is slumped against one of the bulkheads. Emperor, accept thy faithful souls. The Sister of Battle surveys the scene, her gaze lingering on the Archmilitant's body. No! I... Lord Captain! 
Susan, I didn't hear, didn't hear a thing. Not a whisper, not a breath. It was, it was so loud. Why didn't I foresee this? Adira's heart-rending scream shakes the walls. She collapses to her knees, her body shuddering as she weeps. Uh, Lord Captain, who would even dare? Unless that rat void fear. Abelard, stunned, takes a few steps forward and leans heavily on the edge of the desk. His eyes are locked on Theodora's body. Unlikely. From what he told me, he, he clearly wanted her to suffer. He wouldn't have just killed her outright like this. It could have happened in the heat of battle. Not to mention that Mort was here, and he would have protected Lady Theodora to the last. How could Mort have failed her so terribly? The Arch Militant was born on a death world. He had lightning fast reflexes. <laughs> I, I can look at things in my own way. If you find something, something that might bear the imprint of the killer, just give it to me, and I'll try to see what secrets it holds. Nadira glances around, looking lost. You lean closer to the body. The cause of death is apparent. What ended the rogue trader's life was an auto pistol shot. An extraordinarily accurate one at that. Theodora's face bears an expression of surprise. The last emotion she experienced in life. Something on the floor catches your eye. A heap of blood-spattered parchments and scrolls that must have fallen off the desk. As you lean down for a closer look, you notice something else. Small shards of glass scattered on the floor. Nadira, can you read her body? Maybe see her last moments? It doesn't work like that. I can try to read the memories of objects, but dead bodies are a different story. Something like that would require her soul. And after what we saw on the officer's deck, I won't risk searching for it in the warp. Nadira's whole body shudders. How about you, Mort? How you doing? Still dead? An auto pistol shot went straight through Mort's forehead, spraying the floor and the furniture around with blood, brain matter, and shards of his skull. The safety on the arch militant's weapon is off. The killer must have been a split second quicker than he. It is difficult to say what exactly was broken near Theodora's desk. The object fell on the floor, and that is as much as you can ascertain. Upon closer examination, the shards appear iridescent rather than completely transparent, as if they'd been submerged in Prometheum. Adira, what about these shards? Can you read these? Streaks of color, luminescence, blue lights, faces, drawing closer, Lady Theodora, and Conrad, and what is that? Ah! Something dark, enormous. Oh, this glass thing was something foul, that's for sure. She shakes her hand, looking frightened. She's clenching a handful of shards with such strength that blood is dripping on the floor. Tainted witchcraft. You cannot tell if Argenta's remark is directed at the glass shards or Adira herself. 
reports, accounts, dispatches. You go over the scrolls until you stumble upon a document that is starkly different from the rest. It is a handwritten letter signed with the initials XC and a seal with a symbol that is vaguely familiar to you. Ah, can't read it yet. And sends a shiver down your spine. The author of this letter, addressed to Theodora von Valancius, signed it with the seal of one of the holy ordos of the Emperor's Inquisition, the secret police of the Imperium that relentlessly hunts heretics, xenos, and other enemies of humanity. Oh, good. It's not a party until the Inquisition shows up. That's certainly not going to invoke any latent trauma. We're done here. Yes, the crucible of battle calls to me once more. No, wait! We must see if we can find anything. Idira, you can't bring her back. Let her go. Abelard lays a hand on her shoulder. You'd give up so easily, old man? I expected as much from the sister. It's not like she has a heart. But you? Oh no. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll find the one responsible for murdering the Lord Captain. And when I do, that scum will regret the day they were born. Madeira clenches her fists. The murder scene looks like something caught the victims by surprise. No one had time to react to what was happening. I just uh, realized we have black wavy tentacles all around the edges of the screen. I, uh, how long have those been there? I don't have the best peripheral vision. Theodora's Rosary. The wearer of this amulet gains plus 10 to commerce and Lore Imperium. Very nice, I'll take that. Not that we really have anyone who can make much use of it right now. I guess I'll take that for now. Lore Imperium is more likely to come up than Commerce, at least for the time being. And... Rogue Trader's Cloak. Plus five fellowship for each enemy in a two-cell radius. Interesting. Not super useful for any of our current builds, but... We'll toss that to Abelard. He does have some options that key off fellowship. Though again, we'll, we'll certainly find something that's better for that slot later down the line. A bizarre fragment hung on a trophy board. The light, smooth surface of the object is dotted with dark spots and crumbling holes. Interesting. It's like a void shark. I think that's different than what it was in the early access. I think back in early access it was like a generic monster head or something. I'd have to go back and double check. And the letter. Let's have a look at that letter. Handwritten letter with a seal. Esteemed Theodora, a change in circumstances has commanded your immediate assistance in our mutual cause. Forthwith, upon receiving this letter and performing the necessary preparations of your crew, you are to depart for the RICAD system. One of my agents, interrogator Heinrichs van Kalox, operates there at the present time. Upon your arrival in the system, you will, without delay, make contact with him and offer any assistance required of you, after which you will provide him passage to the Furabundus system aboard your ship. On footfall, the interrogator will remove himself from your presence to await further instructions. Anticipating any questions you may have, I will stress that the nature of Interrogator Van Kalox's activities on Rykad Minoris is of no concern to you. If required, Van Kalox himself will disclose the details of this mission. May the Emperor's light be with you. X. C. 
Intriguing. Lots of little plot hooks there. Several name drops, obviously. XC, Rackhead Minoris, Heinrich Van Kalox, uh, the Furabundus system, and Footfall. All familiar names for folks who watched the Alpha or Beta series I did. But for those who did not, mysterious new leads for us to pursue. That said, we are past time, so... Alas, we must close things out on this grim tableau. The rogue trader dead, along with lovable side character Mort. Alas, we hardly knew them, but... But their passing was preordained. For how else would we inherit the title of rogue trader? Though I do still suspect that the rumors of Theodora's death are greatly exaggerated. Just to clarify, I have not played past the stuff that uh, I did for the Early Access series. So everything past Act 2 is a mystery to me. I'm still working on guesswork for uh, the long-term reveals. That said, we'll hit the pause button for now. I will do the usual off-screen bookkeeping and we'll pick up here next time. It may be too late for this Von Valancius, but there are still other Edel threads that we can pursue. See you then. Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. Including, but not limited to, Revenant, Eloise, Blind Iron, Crow King LOR, Dragon Matrix 7, Dracket, Theory V23, Egon Alter, Excelsior, Goatleaf, James Tremay, Kazor, Mark GMs, and Nathan Welch Jr., Overlord Ferrum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Thomas Pietkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you could even check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG, or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description.